step into the world of Family Affair, a classic 1966 TV series that weaves a delightful mix of humor, shock, and sadness. Have you ever shared a cherished moment with this timeless show? Or perhaps, do you recall the first time it graced your screen? The series revolves around a bachelor named Bill Davis, whose life takes an unexpected turn when he becomes the guardian of his deceased brother's three children. As you dive into the storyline, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and heartwarming moments awaiting you. Brace yourself for some intriguing facts that will keep you glued to the screen. But before we unveil those, we're curious what's your most cherished memory or personal experience with this classic? Drop your stories and thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear them. So if you're ready for a trip down memory lane filled with laughter, surprises, and a touch of nostalgia, keep watching. Your favorite moments and surprising tidbits about the show are just around the corner. Get comfy and let the journey begin. Experience the magic of family affair and create lasting memories with the characters that have become a part of TV history. The 1966 TV series Family Affair is notable for its commitment to moral values, steering clear of explicit content such as sex, lust, pornography, violence, or murder. The character Sissy Davis, portrayed with restraint, never showcased personal items like her diary, lingerie, or a bikini on camera. This adherence to decency aligned with the standards upheld by CBS TV, the network responsible for maintaining proper values. Post-1971, Sissy's character undergoes a significant transformation as she moves to Columbia University and becomes involved in the women's liberation movement. In 1976, she graduates from Columbia and subsequently marries her longtime boyfriend, Greg Bartlett, in New York's Central Park. While the show's cultural impact endures, a viewer's son inadvertently becomes a living reminder of family affair. At the age of five, with curly hair resembling a character from the show, the child prompts numerous encounters with people remarking on the uncanny resemblance. Despite being in their 30s, the parents, unfamiliar with the series, explore its history and find themselves intrigued. This newfound awareness prompts them to consider acquiring episodes of the show, recognizing its value in presenting cute, innocent, and respectful portrayals of children, a quality they believe is lacking in contemporary TV. The desire for a revival to share these timeless values with their own children is expressed. Family Affair emerges as a vintage gem, embodying the essence of television that once featured endearing and respectful depictions of children. The impact of the show, both culturally and personally, highlights its enduring appeal across generations. L.M. Van Doren, president of the National Society of Professional Engineers in 1968, played a consulting role in the development of the TV series. His insights likely contributed to the series' portrayal of Bill Davis navigating the challenges of guardianship. Interestingly, the French dubbed version, produced in Paris, brought about changes in character names. While Brian Keith's character, Uncle Bill, remained unchanged, the children underwent a renaming Fanfan, Jackie, and Cecile. Mr. French's name also transformed into the friendlier Mr. Felix. The series unfolds in Manhattan at 600 East 62nd Street, where Bill Davis and his family reside. This specific locale sets the stage for the family's adventures and misadventures, creating a distinctive backdrop for the unfolding narrative. The show's commitment to moral values, steering clear of explicit content such as sex, lust, pornography, violence, or murder, aligns with the standards maintained by CBS TV. Sissy Davis, portrayed with restraint, refrains from showcasing personal items like her diary, lingerie, or a bikini on camera. Post-1971, Sissy's character undergoes a significant transformation as she moves to Columbia University and becomes involved in the women's liberation movement. In 1976, she graduates from Columbia and subsequently marries her longtime boyfriend, Greg Bartlett, in New York's Central Park. The enduring cultural impact of Family Affair is exemplified by a viewer's son, inadvertently becoming a living reminder of the show. With curly hair resembling a character from the series, the child prompts encounters and inquiries, leading the parents, unfamiliar with the show, to explore its history. Intrigued, they recognize the show's value in presenting cute, innocent, and respectful portrayals of children, a quality they find lacking in contemporary TV. This newfound awareness sparks a desire for a revival, reflecting the timeless values of family affair to share with their own children. The show emerges as a vintage gem, embodying the essence of television that once featured endearing and respectful depictions of children resonating across generations.
In the world of Family Affair, the trio comprises the children of Bill Davis' brother, Bob Davis, and his wife, Mary Patterson. Initially introduced with a surname Patterson, it suggests they were under the care of Mary's relatives before relocating to Bill's guardianship. Buffy, one of the trio, often shared the spotlight with her missus. Beasley doll, this iconic pairing became a show highlight, leading to the creation of a line of replica Mrs. Beasley dolls. The dolls sold well, maintaining popularity for years, even after the series concluded. An interesting tidbit lies in the portrayal of Sissy's age. While mentioned as 15 in the second episode, the actress Kathy Garver was in her 20s throughout the series. This age dissonance didn't diminish the character's impact, as Sissy's role unfolded within the dynamics of the Davis household. These insights provide a nuanced understanding of the characters' backgrounds and the subtle nuances that contributed to the show's charm. Sebastian Cabot's unexpected illness in the first season prompted John Williams to step into his role. The storyline cleverly explained Giles French's absence, citing a royal summons to England with his brother Niles filling in at the Davis doorstep. Mad Magazine playfully spoofed the series as familiar affair, showcasing its cultural impact and widespread recognition. Meanwhile, producer Don Federson insisted on keeping Buffy perpetually six years old, leading to actress Anissa Jones facing dehumanizing treatment. Jones, compelled to bind her chest and carry a doll in promotional appearances, eventually faced career challenges and succumbed to a drug overdose at 18. This tragedy shed light on the mistreatment of child actors, influencing a shift in Hollywood to allow them to grow up normally on screen. Despite its enduring popularity, the 1966 TV series faced an untimely demise due to CBS's decision to cancel rural and family-oriented shows during the notorious rural purge. This move aimed to make room for edgier programming, marking the end of the show's run, even though it maintained a decent viewership in its final season. In the early episodes, Johnny Whittaker's character featured a distinctive lisp, which was gradually phased out as the series progressed. An intriguing connection exists between Family Affair, My Three Sons, and To Roam With Love, as all three shows shared the same production company. This unique link allowed Wood for crossover appearances, with characters like Mr. French, Buffy, and Jody making a notable appearance on To Roam With Love. Surprisingly, none of the cast members from Family Affair ever appeared on My Three Sons. The series setting in the same television universe as the other two shows provided a distinct backdrop for its unfolding narrative. This shared universe allowed Wood for seamless crossovers, adding an interesting layer to the viewing experience. The cancellation during the Rural Purge may have concluded the series, but its impact and connections with other shows continue to be a noteworthy aspect of television history.